welcome happy new year <laughs> happy new year ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um this is year 2020 january 2020 i want to say to each and every person i am wishing you a wonderful year this is the energy vibration reading and please remember to subscribe to my channel and connect with my channel so as you subscribe and connect to my channel you'll be able to access all the extended readings alrighty so I hope your year was um, your hair has begun um, good remember to go check out the general readings for all readings their general readings so please check that out because it's very important because it's help you to know what is basically coming up in this year okay so ladies and gentlemen this month is a water month remember that this is a year of air and water it is the energy vibration of uh, the fool the fool is a new start so just about everyone will have access of having a new start so depending on who you are and what is to inspire you definitely have access to a new start so whatever is to inspire in your world get ready because you're going to be receiving a new start now in january truths are going to be coming out january is a month where the energy of the hermit is here and that means that truths truths a whole lot of truths is going to be coming out so whatever the lies the secrets and whatever that was transpiring a lot of truth is going to be coming out so be aware of this for the extended of this reading you have to become a member of my channel and as you become a member whether you're extended medium extended or super extended you will have access to the extended of this monthly reading now this is the general reading and it is a month of emotions emotions where it has to do with light being shed on something that you weren't aware of or um, governments are going to be um, information about government institutes the organization and that sort of a thing is going to be coming out so be aware of this because a whole lot of information light is going to be shedding on a whole lot of information so um, brace yourself because a lot of information over um, institutes organization corruption and that sort of a thing is going to be coming out in this month we're going to have a lot of storms uh, snowstorms and uh, um, turbulency uh, for with surf storm and that sort of a thing okay this month of um, January is has five weeks so the month of January has five weeks so I'm not going to give the first month's reading because there is just going to be just so much a lot that is coming out the first week reading so um, you will have the monthly readings instead and remember if you join my channel and become a member you will have all extended monthly readings okay because this is a uh, very important I think I might do the extended for the full moon also um, for also the um, the small package okay just for the extended so but for the super extended you get so much and and more um, read and find out what is coming in so as I said the energy of the hermit comes up and that is the energy vibration now in the first week we have the energy of the tower whatever is transpiring something is about to leave your life of course it's a new year so things and people and situations are going to be changing so expect a tall moment where something unexpected is going to be leaving your life in the first week now that is the energy of fire and you're vibrating in a water energy then we have the energy of the Empress so some issue situation is going to be leaving in your leaving your life but you're going to be receiving something much better something much beautiful that is going to be coming in and transpiring for you because this is the energy of the Empress and that means this is materialistic stability so whatever that is leaving your life a lot of people are always selling you cars buying a house selling a house that sort of a thing so you're letting go the old and you're accepting the new in the first week which is an earth week in the third week we have the energy of the eye princess comes up which is um, also protecting us in this year she is the divine feminine comes up so truth is going to be shed in the third week so whatever is happening and transpire whatever secrets there were um, that is going to be coming out in the third week for a majority of people who are watching this okay so unexpectedly in the third week you're going to be finding out something 
whatever it is because you have the two feminine energy the divine mother and the mother of abundance in um, the middle of the month in the fourth week we have the energy of the magician and this is good because whatever information comes out in the third week the energy of the magician is here that is going to be helping you to make changes and align your life and this is good so we have fire earth water and here we have hair so this is really wonderful because we have five weeks in the month of january and this is absolutely fabulous because this is the energy of the magician now whenever the energy of the magician comes up the energy of the magician is aligning you and letting you know that if you're looking for a job for um for instance the um the second week and the fourth week is going to be good as we look at the fifth and the last week we see justice coming up in the fifth and the last week so whatever that was happening and transpiring in your life for some of you it could be legal matters whatever is happening and transpire I see justice coming up and I see a lot of you will have a positive outcomes to whatever is happening and transpiring I'm trying to get the light on this so be aware of this this is going to be fabulous this is going to be wonderful it's going to be fabulous because what is going to be happening which is so beautiful you start uh, the year with fire and you go in to the her the two mothers the mother of abundance and the mother of healing the divine mother is also here in the middle of the month which is beautiful and the divine mother is going to be um, around and affecting all of us in the year 2020 then as we go to the end of the month we have the energy of the magician and justice the magician and justice so in the fourth week you have the magician and in the fifth week you have justice now this is brilliantly um aligned with the energy of the month because of the five weeks and this is a new year now as you look in the middle this is where the emotions this is where the information is been uh, merci beaucoup. the information is been um set up it's my coffee <laughs> So um, this is wonderful and fantastic because we we have the two last week with the hair energies and this is fantastic and this is going to be helping us to move forward. As we look at the first week going in the second week, we have the energy of transition. So obviously something is leaving your life and something is about to come in, which is going to be much better. So it is always I'm getting the energy of cars. Um, you know selling your car and buying a new car I get the energy of a new job and in the second week you're going to be realizing that you really make the right decision of leaving your old job behind so that sort of a situation it could be that you change insurance you change mortgage company whatever it is but you are leaving that thing behind and aware and it's going to be better in the second week going in the third week the kaiserin which is the empress the mother of abundance is bringing in the wheel of fortune so this is going to be good especially if you're having birthdays first week second week going in the third week this is going to be fabulous because what is happening and transpiring is that your own energy vibration of the mother of abundance that is the mother of the capricorns that is from first of january until the 19th of january is there in the second week so for the people who are having birthdays in the second week it's going to be fabulous um and it's going to be wonderful because your year is starting and looking good and the female energies is going to be coming up so also if you're a man and you're born um first of january let's say 7th of january until the 14th of january it's going to be a fabulous year for you because you can see this energy coming in in the monthly readings as we look at the divine mother she is going to reveal a lot of secrets so the divine mother is coming up and she's going to be receiving revealing a lot of secrets because right over her is where the hermit is helping her to shed light so she can let the secrets comes out then we have the energy of the moon of course you know the moon is secrecy so third week going into fourth week a lot of information is going to be coming out whatever that has been hidden is going to be coming out a lot of people are going to be aware of deceptive situation that was going out and it's all going to be coming in as we look at the energy of the magician and justice standing upright 
we see the energy of the star so this is going to be fabulous and positive this is a positive alignment of energy because we have all the air signs so the Gemini, you're going to be feeling it in the fourth week. The Librans in the fifth week, and the Aquarians is going to be balanced and working together with the the um the fourth week and the fifth week. So that is absolutely fabulous and beautiful. At the end of this, I will give you and let everyone know where they fall in this month and what to affect. The energy of the lovers comes up, and the energy of the lovers um. Uh, someone you could be coming in some of you could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate some of you could be leaving a relationship behind connecting with your twin flame and soulmate in the second week so transition and this is the person who you were meant to be with if you choose to choose someone in your life in the second week of January it's a yes and that's the person you were meant to be with so congratulations ladies and gentlemen that is looking good especially for you Capricorns you're going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate in this year and that person you're going to be having a very long-lasting relationship with as we look at the third month we have the wheel of fortune so there are past secrets like inner wisdom and guidance is going to be coming up and as I said, it has to do with people in power. So government institutes the organization. You could be finding out something about some deceptiveness with people in power or some deceptiveness that the world has kept, that people in power has kept from the rest of the world, that sort of a thing, because you have the energy of the emperor. The energy of the emperor is always someone in power. This person uh, or situation institutes the organization could have kept secrets uh, um that the eye princess is now going to make available to people so people can know um a, a lot more than they were offered in the beginning so um this is wonderful because whatever the secrets is coming out it could be government secrets um it could be people have used their power their their power in a wrong way and it's going to be coming out and shedding light so in the third week it doesn't have to be in the third week because we're all vibrating on a different vibration on this planet so it doesn't have to be in the third week but it could be in another week uh, overcoming issues and situation a magician is going to be helping you guys to overcome situation issues and situation this is going to be wonderful it's going to be powerful whatever secrets that have kept i see a movement it's going to be affecting the cancers the aquarian and the gemini so whatever this movement is and the Aries and the Leo. So whatever this movement is, this is the week of the Leos where we're looking at the fourth week. Okay. So whatever the issue and the situation is, I see a movement and whatever this um, situation is with this movement that is coming up, I see really positive alignment of energy. Okay. I see some of you are going to be overcoming issues and situation that has to do with people with institutes or organization that has been using their powers in the wrong way. It's coming out because this is the year of the feminine energy. Then I see strength is coming up in the second week going in the third week. I see the wheel of fortune is bringing in um balance but strength is here it, it's it's not worrisome it's absolutely not worrisome it is just that strength is coming up so don't worry about it it's, it's just good because you're going to be finding in a strength to deal with issues and situation okay as we um look at the third week going into fourth week we see judgment call which is a water energy so you see that information is definitely going to be coming out and it's going to be coming from um um, it's going to be coming out worldwide from governments, institutes, the organization, anything has to do with government. That's where information is going to be coming out. That's where the secret lies and information is going to be coming out. So I see some people have to find inner strength because some people are going to be saying like, we weren't aware of that or whatever. So it's just something that unexpectedly is going to be coming out. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. I told you this year would be a year of a new start and here it is uh, coming out where you're seeing that this year is definitely going to be a year of new start so here we have these two we have air and we have hurt so it's definitely um a new start is coming in and a, a cycle is now over so you're beginning the year 
um, a cycle is now over. So you're beginning the year 2020, January 2020, on a very, very positive note because what we're seeing happening is that whatever the issues, the situation, a transition is coming in and this transition is good because what is transpiring is that we're beginning a new century okay we just finished uh, um, a century we're beginning a new century so of course I would have expected the world to be supporting you guys in this uh, month because it's a it's a beginning a new cycle of uh, um, a new century so this is basically what the energy of January is bringing in is beginning a new cycle of a new century. So as we look back on this, we're going to be realizing how very powerful, um, basically, um, this new century is going to be because it's all about changes and it's all about secrets that was kept is going to be coming out and it has to do with government institutes organization and that sort of a thing. So, um, in the month of January, that is definitely going to be coming out. Whether it comes out in the first week, second week, third week, it's more focused in the third weeks. And that is when people actually go back to work. And that is when um, people decide whether or not information should come out or, or, or not. So this is going to be absolutely good and absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to give a breakdown of every week because this is the month it has five weeks. So in the first week, we begin um, the first week with the energy of the tower. Now, the energy of the tower affects just about everyone. It's not specifically based for some people. It affects everyone. And what is happening in transpired, the tower moment is releasing you from something or out of something. And it's bringing transition into your world and bringing a new changes. Now, I see some of you are going to have to find inner strength to deal with loved ones, Okay. Some of you are going to be going in and finding inner strength to deal with loved ones in the first week. So it doesn't really matter who you are and how this is affecting you. It has to do with relationship. Um, people who are married, people who are long in long term relationship, and people who are in soulmate relationship. But I see a new start is coming up for you guys. So this is going to be good. So whatever you have to deal with, where it comes to your marriage your long-term relationship, your twin flame or soulmate relationship, it is giving you a new start to release certain things and take something new on. Second week is the energy of the Capricorn. So Capricorns, this is your week, okay? So whatever is transpiring in the second week, you Capricorns, hold on fast because this is going to be your week. Now, Capricorns, what is transpiring is that the wheel of fortune is coming in for you Capricorn. So especially if you're a birthday Capricorn that was born between the energy of 7 December to 14 December, this is going to be fabulous because it's the beginning of a new year. So you are going to be having luck. You are the ones who are going to be having luck. Your luck is going to be coming up with people in power, people in organization, people, organization, institutes. Say you are going to be having this luck and you're going to be realizing because people are going to be letting you know um, that you have either found out something, resolve a situation, and people are going to be your reputation. If your reputation was on the people are going to be, um, you know, showing you how much they really care about you and how much that you have helped humanity and society. So that's just kind of good. So if you're having check out your birthday um, reading and I really have to do birthday reading for the people. I won't do um, a weekly reading or it, I'll, I'll just try and do a weekly reading. I might just do it on Friday evening. So I kind of figure out where we're going with that. When we look at the energy of the third week. Now, the third week is just positive because the third week is about information. It's a third week. It's about light being shed on something. A lot of information is going to be coming out. Now, what is going to be happening for the Capricorns is that the Divine Mother is going to be moving you out of the hardship you have been going in. And for the Cancers, I see um, like situations are going to be coming up for the Cancers, like your intuition, Cancers, in the third week is going to be half the chart. 
the Capricorns are going to be having luck. So remember, Cancer and Capricorn is the opposite side of each other. So you might be meeting your soulmate or a twin flame that is a Cancer. The possibility does exist. What I'm seeing is a lot of promotion and a lot of positive energy coming out because the energy of uh, people uh, could be promoted, especially the Capricorn. But what I'm seeing is a positive alignment of energies that is coming up. And I see a lot of you, especially um, business Capricorns, um, business is going to be good, especially in the third week. It's like unexpectedly a lot of, um, you know, orders or so could be coming in, in the third week. Um, so this is wonderful. And I see people could be, be, be promoted in the third week. As we look at the fourth week, this is going to be wonderful. It's going to be positive. It is as if the universal angel, the magician comes in and is helping you to move you forward in the fourth week. So I see the effect of the cancers and the effect of the Aquarian. So in the fourth week, so we have the Gemini that is going to be helping out the cancers and the Aquarians. And I see um, you guys moving forward. It's a movement. It's not victory and success over nothing. It's just a moving forward. So Gemini, Cancer, and Aquarians are going to be moving forward in that third week. Now, what I'm seeing for the Leos is there. There is going to be a judgment call in the fourth week for the Leos. Um, so whatever is transpiring, Leos, I see a judgment call coming up for you in the fourth week. Now, this judgment call that is coming up is ending a cycle for you, Leos. Okay. So whatever is transpiring in the four weeks, you Leos are going to be moving forward, but it's ending a cycle for you, Leo. So depends on who you are and what has happened and what is transpired. This is what it's going to be doing. You Leos have been going through a something, some deceptive situation is now finally going to come to an, an end and, and the cycle is going to be over. So be aware of what is this is all about. Aquarians, you have to be aware also in the second week that you Aquarians, uh huh, you Aquarians in the second week have to find inner strength, okay? Second, third week, because something is going to be coming out and you Aquarians are going to be pointed out. So, you Aquarians in the second week have to find inner strength to deal with the issue and the situation. So, Aquarians, be aware of that, what is transpiring. Is it a new start? No, it's going to be, if even it's a new start, it's something ended in your life and you have to find basically balance to move forward. As we look at the fifth and last week, we see justice, justice affecting Aquarians. So Aquarians, if you had legal issues and situation, I see justice is over you, whatever that is transpiring, but I see the cycle is over and, but you have a before daily which is a judgment call. So I see whatever the legal issues that you were in, you're going to be overcoming, but it's not going to be a happy overcome. It's just that the cycle is over. You have to pay back or you have to balance out something. You have to do time, whatever is there and is transpiring. So let's break it down. So transition, the water energies, especially for the uh, scorpion, something is going to be leaving the scorpion lights in the first week. In the second week, I see the Wheel of Fortune is carrying luck for the Pisces, luck for the Capricorn, luck for the Pisces. Um, it could be, and it's going to bring some judgment call for the Aries, okay? So that is it. But for um, the Cancer and the Gemini, it's going to be um, good. Cancer and Geminis who are in a relationship or without relationships, it can be good. I see secret secrets about corporation institutes is going to be coming out. And I see that these secrets are really going to be coming out and people are like going to be like, you know, we wish that we were informed of this before. So there could be upscoming that people are uh, pissed off by government institutes because they were left in the call about something. Okay. So uh, let's see how that is going to be playing out for you wherever you are in the world. Now, I see an overcoming of an issue or a situation because secrets, lies, and deceptiveness is going to be coming out. And I see people moving forward. Okay, so some deceptiveness could be coming out and people are going to be moving forward. And especially, I see a lot of Aquarian, Geminis, or Libra. There is going to be a judgment call and it's like a cycle is going to be finishing. 
so um there's definitely going to affect because the end of the month the fourth week in the fifth week is going to be affecting the fourth week is going to affect the gemini the fifth week is going to be affecting the librans and uh, um, there in that fourth fifth week it's going to be affecting the Aquarians and the Leos so we gotta be aware of how this is actually basically um, affecting our lives okay so this is why I always say to people please 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 I always say to people go and watch um, I always say to people watch the general reading because the general reading will give you more information so cancers your effect is going to be the third week going in the fourth week Aquarians your effect is going to be in the fourth week going in the fifth week alrighty so let's move forward now Gemini's and cancer your week is the second week which could be Paulus David depends on who you are and what is exactly is transpiring okay and um yeah um here is there is a lot of judgment call that is coming up for you aries there is so much judgment call that is coming up for you aries okay um there is no question about it there is just so much judgment call that is coming up for you aries there is a lot of judgment call that is coming up for you aries okay so um we gotta be um aligned with the energies okay we gotta be aligned with the energies so um in order to be aligned with the energies we have to accept who we are and whatever is transpiring in our world and in our lives okay so um that is it for the aries leos your week is going to be in the fourth week so leos you could be dealing with issues deceptiveness issues and that sort of a thing it's going to be coming down so be aware and be aligned because this situation is definitely going to be transforming so whether or not we want to have to be affected with these situations they're definitely going to be aligning our lives so we have to be aware and open up of the energies that is going to be transpiring this is kind of weird so um, ladies and gentlemen you know this is the new century is the new year um a lot of information is going to be coming out there is no question so um things on this planet is going to be changing and you guys are going to be seeing this as you come up um and dealing with these sort of energies in this year so this year is basically giving you a beginning of what could be happening and transpiring around your world so the first first week is going to be the energy of the sun which is just so fabulous and so beautiful and if i can find the rest of it because i'm definitely working i'm definitely going to be working this year with these weekly energies because people need to be aligned with the right and proper energies okay i don't pull things out of the hat like i see a lot of people i, I could think sometimes really people so the first week is the energy of the sun okay so this is a new start a new beginning to whatever is coming up it's the energy of the sun so the first week is basically going to be the energy of the sun where a new start a new beginning to a new year and this is going to be fabulous so however way we look at it the first week the second week some of you are going on a new journey of course some of you could change work um um change cars um some of you could be relocation this sort of a thing but i see that the empress is going to be coming in and going to be al aligning your energies in a right and proper way in the third week a blossoming of abundance is going to be fabulous there's a third week is good um the the um mother of uh, um abundance is here which is in the second week that is to say energy of the capricorn so the Capricorns, you're going to be ending your cycle um, in a very, very positive way. Okay. Then we see a happy family. So, whatever imbalance that was in a situation or a family that is transpired, we see happy family that is coming in at the end of um, this. And this is the number four energy. This is the energy vibration that is going to be trapped in. So, I see family, um, finally, happiness is going to be coming in. 
but I see the outcomes is going to be detached in the five weeks. So of course, justice is here and is detached in the five weeks. So it is ending a cycle with a situation in your life. And this is going to be good. So this is basically ending a cycle with a situation in your life. And this is going to be good. So again, as we recap what we're seeing here, Sagittarius Ophiosis are going to be really wonderfully out aligned in the, um, this year so this is going to be positive so the outcomes of a detachment a detaching yourself from cities situation issues and situation is going to be here so ladies and gentlemen please remember to um, uh, share these um, these links um, remember to connect to my channel in order to join my channel use the link down there in order to see the extended of the rest go check out your zodiac sign come back and listen to this or listen to this and check out your zodiac sign because then and there you will know what is coming up so i'm wishing you a fabulous new month and i love you guys in order to have a personalized monthly reading or a personalized year reading it's going to go until the 31st of october so if you want a year reading it's going to go to the 31st of october i love you guys namaste until next time